And the two divisional champion in the yellow Fairtex gloves, smoking Joe Natawat. Okay, you ready, sir? Scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Big Dan Mergliata in control. We are underway. Petch coming up a little bit in weight for this fight. Said he ate a lot. Put some weight on for it. Lifted some weights. Tried to put on some muscle. Petch in the southpaw stance. Describes his style. Technically clean, calculating, you know, very traditional tie. Joe Natawat. We've seen him bring the violence. Likes to finish with head kicks to the head. And it's crazy, as you mentioned at the beginning of the show, Pat, he didn't start training Muay Thai until he was around 18. He was a ski bomb. Yeah, and, you know, I was going to mention also where uh, most Thai fighters start professionally at seven or eight years old. You know, that's why a guy like Petch will have almost 400 fights here at age 31. He's been fighting forever. That's all, he, that's all he's known. Fighting since he was eight years old. Said he'd fight three to five times a week to get a paycheck and send the money back to his family in Thailand. Both of these guys are going to have incredible defense. We've seen Natawat's defense. And uh, Petch with 400 fights is going to have ridiculous defense. Joe Natawa has some impressive wins, but he is facing a veteran, as we've said, with close to 400 bouts. This may be his toughest test yet. Fighters exchanging roundhouse kicks. These guys' legs can both take an immense amount of damage. They've been conditioned so well. And incredible defense there. You see Petch checking every kick that goes low. And having a good time. Petch smiling the entire that time. Kick. Yeah. Natawa does not, not really land into his legs yet. Usually Natawat's butchering people by now. That, that tells you how high level Petch is. That roundhouse kick got to the ribs of Petch. Petch is smiling at him a lot, too. We sh should see some great clinch work between these two, but not at this exchange. Under a minute to go, round one. It's Muay Thai at its best here at Lion Fight 37. Check that kick. Pay attention to the legs, what they do with their legs to defend with their shin bones. Any lesser human being, trust me, that shin bone crashes into yours, you're done. Broken. Broken in half. Nice shot from Joe Natawat. Quick left. That smiles at him again, checks his kick. A lot of gamesmanship here. And in true Muay Thai fashion here tonight, Pat, both these guys kind of taking their time to get started here in this championship fight. Sorry, Ron, hold on one second, but I got two people talking to me. Smoking Joe in the corner. He's got some big wins. He's coming off that TKO win over King Sam. That was at Lion Fight 35 in March. Also has a win over Malapet. You know, if I'm in Joe's corner, I'm telling him you need to put more feints and fakes together. Fake, fake the kicks. I mean, look. Petch has seen everything possible from many, 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 many world champions. You've got to be very tricky with him. Both guys checking each other's kicks. Massive impact on each other's legs. All right, round two, you ready? Ready for round number two. Pat, you gave that first round to Petch. Why is that? Uh, Petch, I think, was better defensively, to be quite frank with you. Landed some pretty clean hand shots. Joe only landed one good solid one. There was a head kick. Whoa. And now the pace starts off here. Frantic in the second round. You know, Petch hasn't fought in three months because of the Lion Fight contract he signed. They can't remember, his coaches and his staff can't remember the last time he's had that long of a layoff. <laughs> Let's get an update from Petch's corner. Was at eight, yeah, that was at age seven before he started. Yeah, there you go. 
Hey guys, so basically nothing was said to Petch when he went back to his corner. With a guy with a 400 fights, it's not really much to tell him. They just rubbed him down, gave him some water, and he went right back out there. Well, he's been there, done it, so. He could just put a gerbil water bottle in the corner. He could just go back, get himself a sip, and go back out and fight. As long as it's, you know, a fair text one. Yeah. Under two minutes to go, round two. Super welterweight title on the line here. Separate in the middle. At Foxwoods. Hands up. Big Dan Mergliata restarts the fighters. You know, and Petch even said he does not like to fight other ties anymore. He's fought so many ties that he would prefer to fight fighters from everywhere else around the world. But uh, to come to America and fight, he made an exception. Nasty kicks exchanged. Ah, brutal. Both fighters going upstairs, then down. They clinch up. Patch in the corner. That's high-level tie when they just start saying, all right, let's yeah. let's exchange kicks and who see, see who lasts the longest. Power for power. Two elite fighters here. Putting on a show, one minute to go in round two. Well, Petch thought his experience ahead, would be guys. the key in this fight. Petch, nice job maneuvering. Right. Middle, center, center, center. Petch thought his kicks would make the difference in this fight. He said he'd end it with a left high kick. You know, Natawat's style has always been, he just looks to walk forward and bang. Off balance him and then fired the knee and that set him up for that. Oh, counter shot to the back from Petch. Spins Natawat around. He's good about taking advantage of Natawat being off balance. He, he gets him off balance and then fires right away. He knows that's a good time to land. Hatch with one more kick to the body to end round number two. Another extremely close round. There's the check. So many of those, the shin bones are taking care of business, but then the head kick lands. Nice job by Joe. I'm, I'm not guessing a whole lot of people land the head kick on Petch, and then they just start trading. This is uh, Muay Thai's version of a pissing match. <laughs> well put. High-level Muay Thai fighting here at Foxwoods. Justin Greskowitz there with Krumpan in the corner. And according to Pat Militich, Joe Natawatt's on the board. One round apiece. Thank you, bro. Let's go. Box. Fighters touch gloves, and we are set. Round three, the Lion Fight Super Welterweight title match between Patch and Joe Natawatt. Watch, watch, watch. Okay. Good sportsmanship there, low, low blow, I think. Okay. Box. Both these guys, their kicks are just Oof. incredible. The power behind them. Pet saw that kick coming to the head. He shut it down way early after the hand combo from Natawat. Oh. Fighters tumble to the ground. Both slipping. Let's go, box. Catch his corner, telling him, let's go. Let's pick up the pace. And the kicking battle continues. We've seen that about wreck people with those kicks. Yeah. Wolf. He went for a home run there. Felt the breeze up here in the perch. Patch just missed. Joe loaded up with that right hand. 
The Iron Fight continues to bring the best Muay Thai fighters in the world to for, this organization. You know, first time I saw Petch now, I've seen um, him fight before, and he comes from that distance outside and explodes in with his elbows. It was the first time he tried that with Natawat, and Natawat, being very experienced, very athletic guy, saw it coming. Good straight left by Petch. Oh, he off-balanced him again and then blasted him with that knee to the body. Let's go. Hands up. Stinging knee delivered by Patch under a minute to go in round three. That's what Patch does. He'll spin him off balance from that clinch work. And the posture changes. You lose your balance and you bend over more. So you basically your body becomes a catcher's mitt for that knee. Mm. Does more damage. Pat, who do you think's doing more damage at this point? I think Patch is having a more effective round right now. He's landed the more solid stuff. Brutal straight left hand. Big knees to the body. And Mergliata separates our fighters. Ten to go in round three. Another brutal knee. Oh. That's perfectly legal in Muay Thai. Perfectly legal. And that last flurry from Patch most definitely gave him that round. We'll take a look at it, but Patch just threw Natawat between the ropes and then delivered a shot. Yeah, delivered the kick. You know, that's just customary in Muay Thai. That's what they do. There was nothing wrong with that. That's how they fight. Natawat knows how, how he would do the same thing to Patch if he could. Both guys defending kicks here. And Petch, good timing. He saw the negative movement in Natawat's right arm and beat him to the punch through the left, straight down the middle. Here he's off balancing him and then firing the kick up into the body. Tried to get it there. Natawat, look, man, when you're that far off balance in between the ropes and you crane your leg up to block a kick, that's good defense. That could have been a lot worse. That's Batman level defense. No kidding. Joe Natawat escaping. Some major damage at the end of round three. Round four underway. Super welterweight title fight. Two divisional champion Joe Natawat. Black trunks, yellow Fairtex gloves. Patch in the black gloves and white shorts. Oh, good oh. Right. yeah. Oh, you can? In the clinch now fighting through. Break! They separated. As devastating as these guys are, guys are offensively, their defense is amazing to watch. And uh, guys at this level, it's so hard for them to hurt each other, even though they're the absolute best strikers on the planet. Yeah, a lot of those knees and kicks, Pat, I mean, that will crush most fighters. But both these guys absorb the punishment. In a big way. I can't even explain to you how badly that stuff would hurt. Beautiful elbow by Nadawat caught him coming in. He hit, a, he hit a wrestling knee tap on him. Slams now to the back. That's, that's technically illegal to grab the leg. Mm -hmm. And Margliotta was on the opposite side, and Petch knew it. He's so experienced and, and dumped him anyway. I'm not going to count that one in my judging. Wonder if the ringside judges would agree with you. It's tough to see. But a veteran move by Petch. <laughs> Oh, both landed. Fighters opening up in this fourth round. Nice block from Petch. Roundhouse kicks from Petch. Just trying to break down that guard, man. Destroy each other's forearms. Beat each other's legs up. Destroy the body. Hematoma over the eye of Patch starting to form, Pat. Yeah. Not sure what could have caused that, whether it was a knee, an elbow, a punch. Any one of the 
of the eight weapons. Patch catches the kick of Nanawat, pushes him back. Brilliant technical Muay Thai fight. Grazing right hook there by Patch. Digging his chin in the Look at Nadawat's that. face. That's a veteran of 397 fights using everything in his arsenal. Yeah, Round number four comes see, to an end. We used to see that in MMA. Guys still do it a little bit. They'll take the chin, especially if they've got whiskers and grind it into your eye socket <laughs> or your temple. Feels real good, actually. Uh, I'm sure it does. Good cranial massage. There he is coming in. Patch walking forward. Throwing the beautiful elbow there. Watch the arm drop. See the arm on the leg, and then he blocks also with his leg and dumps Nadawat. Now watch, watch Patch. Digging that, yeah, he's trying to find the eye socket. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fantastic. That's good, solid fighting <laughs> right there, baby. That's good stuff. So, Pats. Here we go, my fans. Put your hands together. Cheer the fighters on. This is for the championship belt. This is the fifth in one round. One round apiece in my book. Well, the Lion Fight Super Welterweight Strap up for grabs. Patch and Joe Natawat. So looking at that last round, Pat, that move by Patch that put Natawat on his back, do you think that was an illegal move? Yeah, it was illegal. You can't grab the leg in Muay Thai. And you can't wrestle like that. You, mm -hmm. You've got to hit dumps from the clinch. All right. See him dropping the arm again. He was going to do it again. Joe Natawat did not like that break. Oh, another kick from Petch. Now Natawat clinches up and delivers a knee. Again. Tough fight to score. Back and forth, very technical. Two minutes to go in the final round. Let's see if the younger Nadwan has a better gas tank here. Oh, nice. Two nasty shots very delivered good. by Patch. Nice trip. Oh, beautiful. Whoa, is he hurt? No. It was like Patch was just using that weight to hold him down, get him a little more tired. Yeah. Another veteran move. That was from an over-under, like a body lock, like a, basically a toss. Blocked the leg and, and launched him. Patch touching the ropes now and then just to keep his balance. Right. He stuck his chin in his eye socket again, too. Nadawat's not complaining at all. It's like, yeah, it's Muji. Part of the game is we have one minute to go in this championship fight. And again, Patch just throwing Nadawat around like a rag doll, but Nadawat keeping his balance. Nadawat got to get on him here, score some points. Big shot from Natawat. Champ needed that. Now he needs to follow up. 30 seconds to go. Come on, come on, almost done. Hurt. Natawat moving forward. from Patch is 10 seconds to go. Both these guys are spent. Well, a difficult fight to judge for the officials here at Foxwoods. The two divisional champion, Joe Natawat, the champ. 
nine and one in this promotion. Hugs the legend, Pedanong. Banchamek, of course, Banchamek is the name of his gym. He's known as Patch. One loss in six years. But he was extremely excited to fight here in the U.S. for the first time and in the Lion Fight promotion. You know, again, a key to making Muay Thai more of a mainstream sport, Pat, is to get some of these legends here on TV, on Access TV, and in front of the American fans. It would be similar to building a new organization in MMA where you get the legends to fight, to get the eyeballs on the event, and then bring in some young studs that are rising stars. Here's Patch catching and throwing the left. It missed, it went right by his head. He was trying to set up that dump. See how he's dropping that hand, he likes to do that. Then he reaches behind and blocks and dumps him. Caught some nice air on that. Wow. That was a, a great MMA takedown even. And Natawat throwing the beautiful right hand, landing on Patch. Both guys, incredible defense. They got a few things through on each other, but um, look, Natawat the champion, I don't think Patch in that round came and took it from the champ. I just don't. Pat Militich believes that smoking Joe Natawat will retain his super welterweight title. The judges are calculating their scorecards. Incredible exhibition of Muay Thai, though. Absolutely. Great display here tonight. Let's send it into Sonny Franco. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause to both of these Thai legends. Five exciting rounds of action. And now to the judges' scorecards we go. All three judges, David Torelli, David Ginsburg, and Eric Cologne, all see the bout the same, 48 to 47. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision, and still champion, smoking Joe Nadawa. Joe Nadawa defense.